we're creatures of habits. We usually have practice from 10 to 12 or 11 to 1, depending right. on, on your team. And we're used to routines. Yeah. So I was going to enjoy every practice that I had because I was never going to do it again. Yeah. I was going to enjoy every bus ride because yeah. those were going to be dwindling yeah. down. Yeah. Every plane yeah. ride, playing cards with the guys. Come on, man. You got me tearing yeah. up now, man. I want to go play, <laughs> so right? So I said to myself, I want to enjoy it. Because usually, you know, when you're in the middle of it and you're young, oh, I got to go to practice. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, like doing right. suicide. Yeah. Every suicide, every 17, right. every time the coach yelled at I just – this is it. Yeah, I'm never yeah. going to be in this competitive yeah. atmosphere ever yeah. again. I'm going to enjoy everything. Signing autographs, going early, my whole routine. I wanted to enjoy it, yeah, yeah. and uh, that's what Dirk. That's what uh, um, D Wade is going. That's what they've got to be thinking about. You're never going to be at this. We were. We are at the highest level of our profession. Yeah. All stars, yeah. Hall of Famers, soon yeah. to be with you. You're never going to do it yeah. again. In I, I, every practice. Did you change the way that you came out? Because I know you used to come out sometimes, Michael Jackson. Stuff. Did you ever change that the last year? I went old school. What did you do? Michael. <laughs> I, I, I went That's Jackson 5. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, wasn't it wasn't Thriller. No, no, no. I went off the you wall. Old oh, school. Yeah. <laughs> Destiny. Yeah, Destiny. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. victory <laughs> tour. I'm with you, baby. <laughs> the victory <laughs> tour. <laughs> went, went all the way from uh, A to Z to ABC 1 yeah, yeah, there we go. You I want crazy. you back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we look at some of the uh, half court shots and uh, Ben Simmons among others. We think of kind of first half stories. We had Embiid, one of the you have Elton Brand. You want to talk about one year? I think he's executive of the year yeah, for me. Yeah. Now it will depend on what they do going forward right. because right now. Other than the Golden State Warriors starting five, I would have to say the Sixers yes. probably have the best starting five. Yes. Now can that collection of talent? They've had Jimmy Butler since November, and now they just added Tobias Harris. A deep run in the East, win the East, and represent the East in the in the finals. And how much tougher is that? Because it's different when you get a full camp, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And you know when an offseason, okay, we got to figure out how to gel with This is on the fly, and it's, okay, Butler here, then Tobias Harris. Now we got three new guys on the bench. How does Ennis get his minutes? What do we do with this guy, that guy? Shamit's gone. Who do we fill those minutes? How tough is that when you're going through a season? It is very tough, but but I would say there's a few caveats. You have a couple of guys playing for free agency. Yep. So that means you usually listen a little bit more than that time. You want to show that you're a great teammate. Tobias Harris has come in and played defense and showed that he can facilitate, as you see Damian Lillard knock one down from half court. I, I really like their makeup. And I, I think that this is a different situation. They're all coming together at the perfect time to get this one goal. And so they can be selfish collectively to win this championship. And if they win, everybody gets paid. So this is one of the few scenarios that if they win, everybody looks better and everyone gets paid and, and all kind of the arterial motives are, are for contracts and things like that are handled. And so I really like the makeup of this team. It's up for their bench to show how good they are and for them to prove it. But I, I think right now is the right time of being infused with that energy, especially when you look at what Toronto's done, um, when you look at uh, what the Bucks have done. And so I, I really like the moves of, of the Sixers and, and I'm, I'm interested in seeing how they finish out this season. Risk. I will say one thing. They've been kind of on easy street because it's always been trust the process, the injuries. We're going to bring them around slow. A lot of pressure now is on Brett Brown and that coaching staff. That. How about that? Yes. You, just yes. Say that. You've got the talent in now. Yes. No excuses. Now, now you've got to go out and actually forget the trust the process. It's We have to win now. Yeah. Yeah. you got to win now before yeah. these free agents, if they want to go somewhere else. Right now, this is it for the Sixers. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because we know in the East that Brad, St we know what a coach Brad Stevens is. X's right, and O's right, and also right. understanding of people and the respect he gains because of how he treats people. But this is a different kind of pressure on him because I think we'd all agree the level of talent is enough there and the depth beyond the starting five to go to the finals, yet it just seems like it hasn't been working. And when you hear comments, whether it's Kyrie one day, Marcus Morris and others,